Podcast. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shane and today is the video everyone has been waiting for which is the meet all my animals. So before we get into that, I wanted to talk about something and know that I'm not being sponsored by this company and I'm not being paid to do this. I just really like the product I receive for them from them and I really like what they do with their proceeds. So it's actually right here. It's this bracelet. Can you see? It's a little Taurus Zodiac. So this bracelet is from a little company called Zodi Love Bracelets, but it's a pretty new company and they reached out to me on, on my Instagram and wanted to collab. And so they gave me a discount code and I purchased one of their bracelets, which was this one, obviously I'm a Taurus. And um, in return, I did a shout out for them to them on my Instagram and so I just wanted to tell you guys about it because it's really a cool company and sorry the animals are going nuts in here but the bracelets they're not they're not too expensive and they're really well made like I can't show you how well made this is like on camera it's, they're freaking out my dog is chasing my cat I'm sorry <laughs> but um, they're really well made they're comfortable to wear and um, half of their proceeds at the end of each month actually goes to foster care, to help foster care. And I mean, I feel like anyone could get behind helping foster children, you know? So if you're interested in purchasing a bracelet from them or just checking them out, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below to their Instagram page and to their website page. But anyway, let's jump into the video. So my first pets I'm gonna show you are my dog and my cat. Let me see if I can grab one of them. Hot, come here, come here. We'll grab him first since he decided to jump up. All right, so my first pet is Hawk. This is my dog, he's a dachshund. See if we can get him on camera. Say hi. <gasps> Say hi. He's a good boy. But anyway, I actually got him when I was working at a vet. No, no kisses. I said I would take him, and so I did, and so he's mine, and he's cute, and he's a good boy. So there he is. And next, let me go grab her. So next. We have my cat, here she is. Her name is Nico and she's very cute. She's very fluffy and she's very evil. Huh. She's very evil, but I love her. And I got her as a kitten. I was actually, I'd had a cat and she went outside one day and then disappeared and I never saw her again. And that cat had helped me a lot with my anxiety. She would lay in my bed with me and I would pet her and calm down. And so, you know, some years had passed and I felt like I was ready to get another cat to help with my anxiety. Ah! What? But yeah, she's precious and she's ready to go. So we'll let her go. But let's get into the other animals. Now, before I do bring in my more exotic pets, I just want to give you guys a disclaimer. Um, <clears throat> they're fighting again. Chill! Thank you. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer because my animals are pretty well behaved. Okay, so I'm back with my first exotic pet. And he's right here. You'll probably recognize him from one of my earlier videos. It's Jasper. <laughs> he's got a hair on his face. Oh, I'm sorry, you had a hair. And 
I like to make sure that they're very hand-tamed and they're good around people. So don't think that because my animals are acting a certain way that if you go out and buy one, your animal will act the same way. Always do your research and make sure you're prepared to bring something like this into your home. So with that in mind, let me go grab the first one. This is my ball python. He's a male and he is gigantic. So not all males get this big. He is just like a humongous male. But I actually got him, I've had him for a long time, and I actually got him from a guy, I was on KSL, and I found this ball python, which was him, and he is the best boy ever. So, there's Jasper. Okay, we're back with the next animal. So this is another snake, and she is right here. She's very different from Jasper in size, especially. And this is Jinx. She is my Kenyan sand boa. You've got hair too. Where are all these hairs coming from? And she's not full grown yet. Females can get about two feet long and they turn into like little sausages. So I'm excited for her to grow up, but they are relatively slow growing, especially the males. But I actually got her at the Wasatch Reptile Expo long, long ago. There is, uh, there is Jinx. Okay, I thought I would take a short little break from the reptiles and you actually saw him in my last video, so he's not exactly a new face. But this is my Emperor Scorpion Cicero. I actually got him from Jay's pets. I'm not gonna get her out, obviously, because she's got her babies, but I do have Django, my Asian forest scorpion, but you'll have seen her as well in the last video, and I'm not gonna go mess with her. So you won't see her in this one, but know that I still have her, of course. She's still got her babies, and news, they're actually starting to drop off her back, so I've had to separate them out, so that's been Kind of a nightmare, but anyway, here is Cicero, my Emperor Scorpion. What? Go say hi to the camera, Grumpy. Yeah, say hi to the camera, get up there. <laughs> eh, there he is. Okay, so sticking with scorpions for a second, I did grab one of the little ones that jumped off of mom and was ready to be separated out. And this is actually the one that I may probably keep for myself. <laughs> so I'll see if I can get it on camera. See it right there? It's... <laughs> right there. Right there. See it? I don't want to tip this too much. There it is. Okay, so yeah, that's one of the babies. There are 12 so far that have jumped off her back and her back is still full, so there is a lot of babies. So yeah, that's exciting times. So let's move on to the next animal. Okay, so next, you actually saw her in the last video as well, but it is Clementine, my leopard gecko and I think she is coming onto a shed. She's starting to look kind of powdery white, which is usually an indication they're gonna be shedding soon. So if she doesn't look as full colored, that's why. But there she is. Now her, I actually got from my cousin. So he is into exotic animals like I am. And we used to go and catch like garter snakes when we were younger and stuff like that it was it was good times I love the kid but he got this leopard gecko and his bedroom is in a basement and he was having a hard time keeping the temperatures correct for this leopard gecko he was going to take it back to the place that he got it and I was like um I want it and so he sold her to me and she came with her tank and everything, which she's had an upgrade from that now, but 
because I got her when she was literally just like tiny, just like little baby gecko. But here she is. She is such a sweetie pie. She's so cute. Show them your cute, beautiful face. Uh, but yeah, there she is. That's Clementine. Okay, I've got another gecko. And it is Ginkgo, my crested gecko. He is my male. And he is absolutely a horn dog. And he's also stunning. His colors are really beautiful. He's got a lot of kind of oranges and golds and browns and like cream colors. But he's a little fired up right now. He's kind of a psycho sometimes. But he's about two or three years old. And I actually got him from the Wasatch Reptile Expo as well. So I looked at all the geckos and this one jumped out to me, literally. We opened his thing, he jumped out. It was love at first sight for everyone that was present for that incident. There is Ginkgo. Okay, so I have my next crusted gecko, and this is actually my female. Her name is Patsy, and she may poop on me. She tends to poop on me a lot, but she's cute, so I can forgive her. She's a little fired up too right now. She's really pretty. When she's fired down, she's pretty like white. But when she's fired up, she goes like bright yellow and her stripes really come out and she's just beautiful and I love her. So I got her from the Wasatch Reptile Expo as well. So my sister held her and my sister fell in love with her. And my sister really, at the time, really didn't have much of an interest in reptiles or anything that I liked. And so I was like, holy crap. And so my sister, said we should get her instead and I kind of fell in love with her too. She is such a sweet baby girl. That is Patsy for ya. There she is. Okay, we are now getting into tarantula territory. So just so anyone that's afraid is prepared. There are gonna be lots of spiders, but I encourage you to stick around. I'm not going to try and jump scare you guys or anything like that. That is the last thing I want to do. I, my goal is to educate people on these animals that are very misunderstood and are persecuted for what they are. So stick around. Enjoy some beautiful tarantulas, but here is my first one. And she actually was my very first tarantula. And here she is. So her name is Calcifer and she is a Mexican red knee. I actually got her from Jay's Pets. I actually got her when she was a sling. So she was pretty small and now she's up to this. She's getting big. And she is one of my tarantulas that is a confirmed female. I confirmed it myself from her molt and just from looking at her. But yeah, you can see why they call them Mexican red knees. She is absolutely stunning and beautiful and cameras do nothing for any of these spiders. But that is Calcifer for ya. All right, so I've got my next tarantula and her name is Phoenix. She is a Peru flame rump, so she is gorgeous. She's very dark, but then as you can see, her bum is very red. I got her, oh, I'm sorry. I got her from a pet store, a local pet store called Pets and Such. So, yeah, here's Phoenix. Oh, 
Okay, so my next tarantula is Mochi. She's right here. Ugh. There she is. She is actually a Nicaraguan curly hair. And yes, they are different from a Honduran curly hair. And I also got her from Pets and Such. She's a beautiful girl. And that's Mochi for ya. Okay, next spider is Bev right here. She is my Chilean rose hair. Well, she is a very sweet, sweet girl. I got her from the Wasatch Reptile Expo again. <laughs> that's Bev for you. And there she is, a very beautiful girl. So my next tarantula is right here. Let me see if I can get them. This is Kamaji. He is a Chaco Golden Knee and he might be one of my friendliest spiders I have. I got him at Crazy 8 as well. And I actually got him as a spiderling. So he was very little. He's gotten a lot bigger, but he's still pretty small. That is Kamaji. Okay, so my next spider is actually my only arboreal species. Her name, I'm sorry. Her name is Kirby and she is a pink toe. So she is adorable. Hey, would you calm down? Lay down. And I think one of my favorite things about pink toes is their feet are like twice the size of a normal tarantula since they're arboreal. So they need that extra grip to climb in the trees. And so you can see those feet are just absolutely gigantic. And of course they've got their adorable little pink toes. When I first got Kirby, she was actually missing one of her petal palps, which is those two little front legs. See them right there reaching down? So, you know tarantulas have eight legs, but they also have two little front arms right there. So that's Kirby for ya. So this next tarantula I have is my most finicky tarantula. So I'm gonna try and keep it quick with this one, but her name is Sushi. She's gonna come up here. No, there we go, you're okay. Now Sushi is a Costa Rican zebra tarantula and I also got her from Jay's and when I got her, I'm going to see if I can get her close enough to show you guys. She was actually missing two little front legs. Ugh. See, so you can see them right here. They're a lot smaller and skinnier than the other legs because she actually just regenerated them. That is Sushi. Next tarantula is Jericho. She is an Arizona blonde. I got her from Crazy Eights, like some of those other ones. She is absolutely amazing. There's Jericho. All right, my next tarantula is very cute and very small. So, her name is Shelob, and she is my Brazilian Black. And I got her at the Reptile Expo, of course, from Crazy Eights. There she is. I obviously don't know the sex of this one. She's way too small to tell. That's little Shelob for ya. Next tarantula is perfect for this October season. Her name is Spook, and she is a pumpkin patch tarantula. She is a dwarf species, so she won't get nearly as big as 
other tarantulas would get. She'll stay relatively small, but as you can see, she's very friendly. Like most of my other spiders, I got her from the Wasatch Reptile Expo from Crazy Eights. Yeah, that is spook for ya. taking a tiny break from spiders to show you my next pet. This is my last reptile and there he is. <laughs> His name is Draco. He's a Sudan plated lizard and I got him from Jay's Pets. And yes, he is named Draco after one of my favorite movies of all time, Dragonheart. And I mean, he literally looks like a little dragon. Like, this is why they're called plated lizards. Look at those plates down his back. So, that's Draco for ya. Everyone is put away. Stinky's back. Stinky's back. <laughs> but, oh, no, no kisses. No, no. <laughs> no. That was all my pets. Or if you're interested in any of these animals, don't forget to do your research and you know, just make yourself as prepared as possible to bring, you know, an animal home. I want to thank you so much for watching my video and, you know, hopping onto my channel and checking it out. I've got some other great videos you can check out. Um, I feel like the quality gets a little better every time. It's a work in progress, you know, just starting out. But I hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next and click that subscribe button and join the club. All right. Bye.